What up, YouTube? Geek for Lady here once again, back with another video for you guys. And today's topic will be my thoughts on the rematch between Goku and Superman that Screw Attack did. And I know I'm late on this shit. I'm sorry. I'm late. You know, like I said, I had a, a whole bunch of other videos I was working on before I could get to this one. But I'm talking about it now. Obviously, I wanted Goku to win. I'm a Goku fan over Superman. So, um, it was disappointing to see Goku lose. I mean, the first time around, I was like, you know what? I can't dispute this shit, you know? Superman fairly won. <laughs> you know, it was a fair fight, and Superman won that shit the first time around. So I, I wasn't too upset with that, because I know what Superman's capable of, and I know what Goku's capable of, and Superman has more impressive feats. So the first time around, I'm like, okay, Superman won. I saw that coming. But the second time around, I was like... I called bullshit. <laughs> you know, the second time around, I felt a bit more upset because what's the point? I mean, the, the, the whole thing about a rematch is you learn from the first time. Look at fighters in real life. Um, if a boxer lost to somebody and have a rematch, are they going to fight that, bo that boxer they lost to the same way, the exact same way again? You know, or think about a UFC fighter. They lose to somebody. Are they going to go into that same... Are they going to go back into a rematch with the same strategy? No. You're going to find... You're going to study this person. Find out their weaknesses. And exploit that shit to get the W. That's how rematches work. You don't use the same strategy as last time. <laughs> again in the rematch. So I call bullshit. So Goku died the first time around. Went to um King Kai. King Kai knows about Superman. So that means you know about Superman, you know what his weaknesses are. And you couldn't tell Goku. Goku couldn't train in the afterlife, figure out Superman's weaknesses and shit like that. Goku just used the same strategy again. I call bullshit on that. Cause that's not logical. No fighter does that. <laughs> no fucking fighter does that. No fucking fighter goes into a, a rematch, use the same strategy as last time. Blindly swinging until I, I could beat my opponent. No, you exploit the person's weakness. If King Kai knew about Superman, he knows Superman's weaknesses. So he could have said, hey, you could bring so you could take him, transport him to where there's some red sun, there's some kryptonite. You could do something to even the score. And Goku, and don't be giving me that shit where Goku wants a fair fight. Since fucking when? <laughs> Since fucking when? When he using the spirit bomb? <laughs> Is that fucking fair? Or taking everybody's energy to beat Brawley? Don't tell me Goku wants a fair fight. Fuck that shit. When, when does Goku be doing fair fights? When? 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 When they was all ganging up on Cell? When they was all ganging up on Cell? When Gohan was doing the Kamehameha wave, they all blasting Cell in the back? Don't give me that shit. Don't give me that saying pride shit where Goku wouldn't want to use kryptonite. What the fuck? He sure, he sure do be using a whole bunch of cheats on other enemies like Kid Boo, Brock, like I said. So don't give me that shit. Goku is not opposed to getting the job done. When he, he is not opposed to this shit. Especially when they destroyed the Earth the first time. Goku would have been like, oh damn, he destroyed the Earth. The Earth is in peril again. This is a strong foe that might um, kill all my friends. I have to do whatever I can to kill him. So if I have to use Kryptonite, I just have to use Kryptonite. That would be Goku's thought process. Because Go that's how Goku is whenever the Earth is threatened. Whenever his friends' lives are in jeopardy. He will borrow energy. He will exploit the enemy's weaknesses. He will grab Raditz by the fucking tail. He will do this. Just come on. He will exploit Superman's weaknesses. So for him to go into there with no strength, with the same strategy as last time, not exploiting any of Superman's weaknesses, I call it bullshit. I, will, I, really, I really wanted Goku to win this time around. Yeah, I really wanted Goku to win this time around. I Because that's the whole point of a rematch. You learn from your mistakes the first time around. And for Goku to not act as Goku would when the Earth is in jeopardy, I call bullshit on that. For him to not exploit any of Superman's weaknesses, I call bullshit. And you can't even call me a Dragon Ball Z fanboy because I'm just being fucking logical about the situation. When you have a rematch, you learn from the first time. That's just 
logical. Tell me one fighter that loses to another fighter and goes back into the rematch with the same fucking strategy as the first part, the first time. Tell me one fighter that's doing that. Tell me one fighter that does not learn from the first time it goes and use the same strategy again. That's logical. So that's not even me being a Dragon Ball Z fanboy. That's just me telling you how human logic works. This is human logic. This is realistic. <laughs> you learn. You learn. That's why they go. That's why in boxing and UFC and any fight, you go back and watch your opponent's tapes. You study their movements and you formulate a strategy to work to win. That's just how fighting is done. That's just how fighting is done. So for Goku to not have done that, learn nothing, and not exploit any weakness, fucking bullshit. Fucking bullshit. I'm not disputing that, okay, Superman could walk through a Kamehameha wave, and I'm not even going to dispute the fact that we, that Goku, I mean, that Superman is way more powerful than even Super uh, Saiyan God Super Saiyan. I'm not even going to dispute all that shit. I'm just disputing the fact that Goku didn't even try to exploit weaknesses. Because Goku does that shit. Goku does that shit. <laughs> don't you dare tell me Goku don't exploit that shit. <laughs> like I said, don't you dare tell me that didn't, Goku and Piccolo didn't run up on um, Raditz. Don't you dare tell me they didn't grab Raditz's tail. <laughs> don't you dare tell me Goku, uh, they, Goku didn't take everybody energy to kill Broly. Don't tell me that shit. Don't tell me that shit. Don't tell me that shit. I'm just, I'm not being a fanboy. I'm being logical. That's all I'm fucking saying, you know? Superman has weaknesses. Superman may have be limitless, but he has weaknesses. Goku has limits, but he has no weaknesses. You see the difference? Goku should be able to exploit them weaknesses, especially if he was with King Kai, who already knew about Superman. But that's just my thoughts. I, I, I wasn't expecting to go on a rant just now, but... I just really called bullshit because I found that should be stupid. Batman could exploit Superman's weaknesses. Why the fuck can't Goku? Goku's been known to exploit weaknesses. He will grab a Saiyan's tail. He did grab Raditz's tail. Like I said, Goku has been known to do that shit too. Let's be real about it. Goku is not opposed to double, like they double team Raditz. Goku and Piccolo double team Batman. <laughs> so don't give me that honor shit. Goku just want an honorable fight now. Goku, when Earth is in jeopardy, Goku would get grimy. <laughs> Goku would borrow other niggas' energies to fight niggas. That's how Goku is. So I call bullshit. But anyways, you can hit me down in the comments down below. Tell me your thoughts on the whole matter. Um, did you enjoy this screw attack um episode? Do you call bullshit? Do you agree with it? Would, did you think it was stupid that Goku went into the shit with the same strategy as last time too? You know, so tell me down in the below. Drop a comment. Let's talk about it. G-Folded here signing off. And thank you guys for watching.